God damn it, Marvel! Hello everyone, it's me, Aaron, Professor Thorgy, your guide to all things geeky, and this is Comic Class, the show every single week on this channel where we blah 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 blah. I didn't even want to be here right now. I already did a comic class just two days ago. I did not want to have to come right back in and get called back to the office to come in here and be like, Oh yeah, let's come in and talk more about Marvel right now, because they just can't not have things happen. Seriously, Marvel, you have events like the Springfield nuclear plant has meltdowns, all right? It just keeps happening and no one's asking for them. Dope! Mr. Burns, I caused another Marvel event. Confound you, Simpson. Now Captain America is a Nazi. But okay, sorry if I'm sounding a little bit salty right now. Also, sorry for the hissing sound you're going to hear all throughout this video. Let's not pretend like it's not there. We all know it's there. Normally, I wait until the building turns its heat off to record these episodes. But, as I said, Marvel does not care about my schedule. So, anyway, today Marvel has unveiled a teaser for a new... I don't know if it's an event, but it's Marvel, so it's an event. And it's called Generations. And the teaser says that it is coming out summer 2017. Marvel, you do know that you have another event already planned for summer of 2017, right? Didn't, like, see those two crossing over on the calendar at all? All right, all right, get the salt out, get the salt out, just shake it out, shake it out. All right, <sighs> okay, so let's go over what we know right now. Absolutely nothing. All we know is that a giant poster, which I gotta admit, even though I'm a little bit salty right now, that is an awesome looking poster. I would gladly get that as a poster, but it's a giant poster drawn out by Alex Ross and it just says Generations on there. And it features in the top half all the older incarnations of these characters. And in the bottom half, it features all the newer incarnations of these characters. Now, let me just go ahead and say I am a massive fan of the fact that Marvel is embracing the idea of legacy characters. People want to see characters grow. They want to see them change. And they want to see them create a legacy that continues on even after them. So I love this idea that Marvel is now embracing legacy characters and they created this entire line of brand new legacy characters that really try to represent a wider audience, that they're not all just white dudes. And I'm saying that as a white dude, I am very happy to see a whole new generation of women and people of color and people on the LGBTQ spectrum coming in here and embracing the roles of these characters. I think that's fantastic. So I'm very glad that Marvel is going to have another thing focusing on them and drawing attention towards them. Just kind of salty that it's coming after five other giant events right in a row. At least I'm assuming it's an event. As I said at this point, literally nothing is known about Generations other than that teaser image that they put out. However, there are a couple of ideas that I had about what this might be just from looking at that teaser image and I'm going to share them with you. I just want to make it clear, everything after this point in the video is pure on speculation. I'm not coming in here and saying this is an absolute fact. I'm not coming in here and saying this is exactly what's going to be. These are just the ideas that I had looking at that teaser image. Now the first thing, as I said, is I think that this could be some kind of a crossover event. However, I don't think it's going to be one of those massive this changes everything forever kind of crossover events. Simply because, as I said, Marvel literally already has one of those planned for the exact months that this says it will be coming out in. So I can't picture them doing two of those at once. I stand corrected. It's entirely possible they could be doing two of those at once. However, what I think this is going to be is that it's going to be more of a character study kind of crossover. It's going to be more of a story that kind of just speaks to who these characters are. And what I honestly think it's going to be, just looking at that teaser image, I think it's going to be a time travel story. I think it's going to be a story where all these heroes from the past get brought to the present and they now get to meet their legacy characters. However, they're going to get to meet and interact with them kind of at a younger point. And honestly, I think that could be awesome. Because yes, I love seeing Miles training under Peter Parker. I love seeing the adult Peter Parker with the younger Miles Morales. However, I also think it would be pretty darn cool to see the young I just started web slinging Peter Parker working with the young I just started web slinging Miles Morales. I would love to see Miles Morales turn to Pete go, man, my life is so screwed up. How did you have your life together when you were my age? What are you talking about? 
My life is so screwed up. Or take Riri Williams, for example. Riri Williams, she knew Tony Stark back when he had his wife together. She knew him back when he was a responsible, mature adult. Yes, he joked around a little, but he still knew what he was doing. I would be very interested in seeing what would happen if she met the young, total a-hole alcoholic Tony Stark. Because she looked up to the guy. She thought he was a genius. She thinks that that guy is like, oh yeah, I would totally carry on your legacy. What happens when she sees, oh, you were a piece of crap back in the day. I think that that would add a very interesting character dynamic to the Tony Stark, Riri Williams relationship. Uh, but yeah, that's how I kind of feel about all these characters. Like you guys know me, I am a massive New Warriors fan and I have been loving the current Nova series. I love seeing the older uh, Richard Ryder who, again, he's got his life together, he's mature, he's led the Nova Corps, he's saved all of space and time from Thanos. I would love to see what happens when the younger dude bro from the New Warriors, Richard Ryder, has to interact with Sam Alexander. Because Sam Alexander's like, oh man, yeah, you were a hero. That's fantastic. Then he meets the younger Richard Ryder's like, so man, check out my phone. See this Atlantean chick on there? Yeah, she's my bae right there. Yeah, that's my girl right there. Oh, by the way, check out these guns right here. Basically, I want to see that Richard Ryder interact with him. But also, Richard Ryder is in the current Nova series. I would love to see the adult Richard Ryder looking back at his younger self like, oh my god, this a-hole. Oh, I forgot what a jerk I used to be. Oh, uh, kid, don't listen to him at all. And if that is indeed the type of story that they plan on doing, I am really looking forward to what happens when older adult Jean Grey interacts with her younger self pulled out from the past to the present. Holy cow. That would have to be the most complex relationship out of any of these two characters you could possibly put together. Or, and the other idea that I had for this, is that it might not be some giant event where the characters actually cross over with each other. This might just be more of a character study style of story in which these characters don't interact, but more of, say, it's just a series of one-shots. Like, you see, every single one of those characters that you have there, each of them gets a one-shot called Generations, and two stories inside. One being told in the past that features on the older character, and one being told in the present that focuses on the current character, and those two stories kind of, in a way, reflect each other. So that way, for all the people out there who are just like, well, yeah, but is this character really a legacy character? Do they really carry on the story of that previous character? You could look at them and go, oh, I see. So Miles goes through the same things as Peter used to go to. Oh, okay, so Kate Bishop really does kind of act the way that Clint Barton used to back in the day. Oh, I see how these characters are totally complementary to each other. Like, basically, it could just kind of not be an event, more of just a celebration of these characters. Kind of a story that is just meant to reflect on why these characters are picking up these mantles, why they are the next generation of these characters. Or the third idea that I had looking at this is that this is being drawn by Alex Ross, or at least the covers are being done by Alex Ross. And it made me think back to one of the first things that he ever did for Marvel, which was just called Marvels. It was the story of a reporter kind of talking about some of the major events in Marvel Comics history from kind of a street level, regular, everyday person point of view. I think it would be very interesting for this to kind of just carry that on, kind of focus on a new reporter, maybe somebody like Ben Yurick, who has been around a while. He does remember when these heroes popped up the first time, and now he's kind of looking at this new generation, and he's kind of like, you know what, let me just write a couple stories here about why it's important for these characters to exist, why it's important for their characters to get passed on, or their mantles to be passed on from one generation to the next. You know, maybe it's not some giant event, maybe it's more just kind of a, hey man, this is why this is important. Again, any one of those three, I would be excited for. Granted, if it's the big giant event, I'd be more excited for it if it was not following five other massive events, but still, I think that each of those ideas sound kind of fun. And also, honestly, I really hope that Mark Wade is writing this. No matter which of these it is, I think Mark Wade would be a perfect fit for any of these. And considering that Mark Wade is writing both the Avengers and the Champions, so he's writing the old heroes and he's writing the legacy heroes, it would make total sense to me for him to be the guy who writes this whatever the heck is going to end up becoming. 
But as I said, those are just my ideas. I don't know what this is going to actually be. However, there is one thing that I can guarantee you this will not be. I have already seen this popping up online. I've heard people coming in and saying, oh, this is Marvel and mean that they shouldn't be making all these female characters or all these characters who are people of color. They should not be making them. They should stick back with the old generation. Nobody wants the new generation. They're going to bring back the old generation. I've already seen so many people saying, that's what this is. It's a return of all those old characters. Bruce Banner, Logan, all the old characters. They're all coming right back. Uh, yeah. Again, as I said, I don't know what this is going to end up becoming, but as far as that theory goes, I will just refer you to my consulting physician, Dr. Cox. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. Guys, the legacy characters are here, and they're here to stay. I'm not saying that some of the old characters won't eventually come back from the dead. It's comics. Of course it could happen. I mean, heck, Barry Allen came back from the dead 30 years after he died. So, of course, they could end up coming back. However, the current legacy characters are here to stay. Marvel is not changing this. They're going to stay on this path. And as I start this whole video off by saying, I applaud them for doing that. I am very glad to see the way that they've been treating their legacy characters. This whole Generations thing is not going to be the old characters coming back. And you know how I know that? A, because as I said, Marvel is going to stay on this path, and B, because they're not going to clone Carol Danvers so that they can have her as both Captain Marvel and Miss Marvel. Guys, seriously, how on earth are there people on the internet already saying it's the old characters coming back when there's two of the same character on that freaking poster? Oh my god, you guys. Ugh. Although I will say, it does make me feel kind of good to see old Captain Marvel there, old Miss Marvel there, new Captain Marvel, and Miss Marvel. It made me look at that and go, wow, the Marvels are kind of becoming like the flashes of the Marvel Universe. And if there's any group of characters who should have the widest range of legacy characters, it's the ones who share the name with the company. So yeah, I would be very interested in seeing that many Marvels in one book. But anyway, that's enough ranting and speculating. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this incredibly vague poster. Um, let me know if you would like to buy it as a poster. Let me know if you think that there have been too many crossover events. I do actually have a new editorial coming up and it should be up within the next week talking about this crossover fatigue. So if you want to see that, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to see any of the other comic book videos that we do during the week, then make sure that you hit the subscribe button. If you want to see any of the non-comic book videos that we do on the weekends, such as movie reviews, talk about video games, anything else from the world of geekery, guess what? Hit that subscribe button. Also, share these videos around the web. It's the best way to help out this channel. Oh, jeez. I did not plan on doing two comic classes in one week. That's it for me, everyone. Come back next time. Bye.